Live from Los Angeles, California, it's Romeo's Romantic Retreat! Yeah! It's your bar, Romeo, from the K-Day Morning Show, and Valentine's Day is official, man. It's here, you know, when you think of Valentine's with Romeo, so hey, I'm the guy that makes this happen. Romeo's Retreat is what's about to go down. So we got Liz, where you from, Liz? Of Los Angeles, South Central. South Central is in the building. That's right. All right, and you're a single lady looking for that special oh, yeah. sweetheart. Okay. And you believe that I can make that happen for you? You can make it happen. I mean, look, I make all kind of things happen. Like, let's be clear. That's why my hand is glad. That's right why I'm here. Oh, I like it. <laughs> and your zodiac sign is? Sagittarius. Oh, strong woman right here. Okay. Ooh, girl power. So this man got to have strong back for you. Okay, very important. All right, we have two contestants, and we're going to have you go ahead and ask some questions. And based on those answers, you get to pick who you think is right for you, Liz. You ready to get it in? I'm ready for this. Let's go. Lover number one, what is your ideal first date? So my ideal first date would maybe be a nice dinner, a few drinks, and let her know that there's some real gentlemen still out in the world. Uh, okay. How do you feel about that right there? Yes. He added the drinking, so we'll second when he's drinking that night. So. Okay, no, I like it. <laughs> okay. Lover number two. My ideal first date is uh, a blunt, maybe a hotel room, some yak. That's my first date right there. That sounds fun. Ooh. How you feel right now, Liz? <laughs> <laughs> you say you want a strong man. I think I, I like the blunt idea. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I feel like it's better than okay. drinking. Well, let's get to question number two then. <laughs> okay, question number two. What are you more attracted to? Top or bottom? <laughs> okay, love it number one. Every woman's beautiful in their own way, but if it was my woman, I would appreciate everything about her from head to toe. Ooh. Smooth out the right over there. <laughs> Hey man, whichever way you going, I'm going. You know what I mean? I could do either or. Like, I like to consider myself a warm blooded American, red, white, and blue, so I do appreciate some uh, big ass titties. But uh, being that I am a black man, you know we have never turned down a fat ass. Hello. <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, both. Okay. okay. Question number three. If I was your girl, what would you get me for a Valentine's? Lover number one. So on Valentine's Day, it'll probably be a little something special. Maybe a little candlelight, maybe rose petals on the floor to the to bubble bath waiting for her. You know, I'm going to go above and beyond. I don't think anybody's done that for me before. So. Oh. Okay. Lover number two. Some palm olive, some rubber gloves, maybe a hamper, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Look here, K-Day Nation. Liz is going to take a moment to absorb these answers of lover number one and lover number two. And when we come back for our final round of this or that, she's going to choose because she's going to go on a date that I'm going to pay for. It definitely goes down in the air with your bar room in the K-Day Morning Show, Valentine's Day. We got Liz from South Central, Sagittarius, independent woman. She's heard the answers of the three questions that you asked. Lover number one and lover number two. So now you have a chance to absorb it. You, do, you did say this, though. After the first two questions, it was tied up. So this is a tough one for you. All right, so based on that third question, the answers you received, will it be lover number one or lover number two that you go on a date with? Lover number one. Lover number one. Well, I'm going to step to the side, and we're going to let lover number one just walk on up in here. Stand up. Here is your lover number one. Oh, yeah. Walk all the way in. Don't be scared, lover. There it is. Congratulations. This is what's going down. Romeo's romantic How did I know it was you? I don't know. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Wow. She's kind of happy. Turn to the camera and get all that. She's kind of happy. Nathan Tewin. Oh. <laughs> Ain't Nathan Tewin what to do. Oh. It is. So, there it is. I mean, we asked her some questions. She asked them. Based on her answers, she hit around the mark. You, the guy, man, 
I'm gonna pay for this first date. I'm gonna set it up. I want to hear all about it, Liz. This could be the beginning of something special. And if it, hey, I could be the Godfather like a year from now. <laughs> I'm just saying. Nathan to it, Liz from South Central. Valentine's Day is going down. <laughs>